Welcome to episode eight of Evernote in the Wild, Provence edition. I'm Evernote certified expert Stacy Harmon, and in this series, I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support me in staying organized, productive, and on task for a trip I'm taking to Provence, France. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I use Evernote to support my packing process. I love this process, and I'm specifically going to focus on how I use Evernote tables in this process. Uh, it helps me to really keep my packing and outfit planning, a key part of my trip, uh, organized and efficient and um, easier. So the benefits of this are obviously that I'm not overpacking and I'm not underpacking. I'm trying to avoid doing laundry while I'm on the road, especially for a trip of this duration. And and uh, this basically makes my packing process highly efficient and helps me eliminate, you know, redundancy or, you know, really plan an effective wardrobe for while I'm on the road. So let's go into my account and I'll show you what I've done and you can work to hopefully replicate it in your own travel. Here inside my Evernote account, you can see that I've created a note called Outfit Planning uh, inside my project notebook for this trip. And in it, I've inserted this table. So you can see I can select the table and you simply insert a table here uh, if you want to. And that's what I did. And I went in there and have added some information to this table. So I've added some columns information. This is each day of the trip, one row for each day of the trip. I've tracked, you know, what we're going to be doing that day. Where am I going to be? And I looked at my phone and looked up the weather for those regions and what the predicted weather was, because obviously that's going to impact what it is that I wear. I also then have these columns for an outfit. You can see I merged the cells here. That's an option that you can do from the um, from the menu here. And I have two columns in my mind in you may or may not want to do this. I have kind of like either what I'm going to wear on the bottom and what I'm going to wear on the top. Sometimes it's a dress, so I might not have something um, in both columns, but in this case I do. And then obviously when you travel, your shoes are important if you're going to be doing a lot of walking, uh, et cetera. So, uh, and shoes certainly are one of those things, at least from the female side of things that can really balloon out of control in my luggage if I don't plan accordingly. So I've got everything lined up here and I started by putting in this information and then I started to just fill in what it is that I planned to wear. And I planned my outfits and obviously I'm trying to like reuse things as the trip goes on so that I'm packing as light as possible, leave room for souvenirs or under the limit on the luggage. Uh, and But also, as I mentioned before, I don't wanna have to do laundry uh, while I'm there if at all possible. So I plan it all out and then I look at it in a big, um, project, you know, a table overview. So I'll just kind of expand this and kind of look and see like, oh yeah, well maybe I could wear these shoes somewhere else. Um, and I'm making decisions around that and I'm just planning it out. And once I'm happy with it, then my trip is basically, or my packing list is basically planned. Um, and I go through and I start packing it. Now, a couple things I wanna talk to you about regarding tables here. This is just kind of the function of tables. I showed you how you can do some spreadsheet-like functions, like I can merge those cells here, um, but I don't want you to have the expectation that this is actually a spreadsheet. It's not like Excel, it's not like Google Sheets. It's really for visually organizing information. You're not actually manipulating data. I'm not doing any calculations. I can't do any sorting in it. You know, I can reorganize rows like this uh, if I want to. In this case, I don't want to. I want everything chronologically. Um, and you can move columns and rows around. Um, and there's lots you can do with tables and they're very, very useful, but you don't want to think of them as a spreadsheet because you're going to be disappointed in what you can do. Now, if you have a spreadsheet that you use, you certainly can link to it uh, in Evernote. That's another topic for another day, but this is not a Excel spreadsheet. It's a visual organization of my data and it's really, really functional. Okay. So just keep that in mind as you go through it. And you can see I've kind of given a great example of how I'm using it in order to do that, to create visual organization to my data. I also want to talk about the next step I take, which is when I actually start to go and pack I'm using a couple of table features to track status. So even if you're not using this kind of project, you could use this tip to track the status of uh, things that you have in tabular form. So as I go through and I'm packing, after I agree that these are the things that I'm gonna pack for my trip, I'm actually going through and as I put them into my bag, I'm adding a green box. And sometimes, you know, especially when I travel, for some reason I'm always doing laundry the night before and something might be drying and I can't throw 
stored in my bag. Um, I go in and I actually put uh, a designated a different color for that. So if this is, you know, something that is drying or in the laundry room and I need to make sure I still get it into my bag, I might turn it yellow. And if I pack the shoes, I'll go through and pack those here and color them uh, in each cell to indicate that it's already packed and then I'll go through and look to make this completely green when it's completely green then I know my packing is complete and I've got that in my bag so that's kind of how I stay organized and uh, make sure that I've packed everything that I had planned to and I also am tracking status by color and then when I get this item packed I just change the color so that the whole thing is green now, once my packing is complete, I'm taking one additional step that's assisting me throughout the entire trip. And that is I'm adding this to my shortcut menu. And there's a lot of ways I can do that. I'm gonna show you this way here, just through the little overflow menu. I add to shortcuts. And then what that does is puts it here on my sidebar and I can move it up near my other notes there that are related to my trip, to my um, project management note and to my project notebook. And now I have quick access to this on my phone, which is really assisting me when I wake up in Paris the next day and I'm jet lagged and I want to know what was I supposed to wear today I'm going to find that in my bag and not mess up my plan for the rest of my trip and then of course if something changes while I'm on the trip say I buy something new that I want to wear or I spill a glass of wine on my white dress <laughs> that dress isn't an option for later uh, I certainly can adjust the plan it's just a nice piece of information to have in terms of pre-planning that carries me through the entire trip and I've found really really functional so there you have it. One way that I stay organized uh, in my travels, in this case, when I pack and with my clothing uh, and how Evernote's features support me in doing that. I'll be back with more tips next time. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to the Harmon Enterprises YouTube channel in order to be automatically notified of the next episode. See you then.